let's head back to Montana and check out this GMC Sierra Grande concept. You'll hear from Dave Harrington. He has got the gray coat on, and you hear from a guy on the GMC Sierra program talking about this new concept. Uh, the last location I was talking about the premium and capable story that GMC has been on and how early on we heard that AEV is such a credible partner in this space. Well, we worked very closely together, and one day Matt and uh, Dave and the whole AV team came to me and said, we'd like to do a concept truck and really show off a lot of the accessories and vision we have for the Sierra Heavy Duty AT4X platform. And I said, let's do it. Um, so with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Dave, and he's gonna talk a little bit about the truck and what they put on it. Yeah, well, everyone, Sierra Grande. So, for those of you, yeah. you know, that's a historical badge and brand name from the GMC lineup, and we thought it fitting for the 40-inch tires. So, this is um, this is kind of a, hey, let's pick all the cool parts out of the GM toy box and put it together. So, this is a, a regular cab, AT4X, um, which obviously they don't build, but we could. So, this is kind of a fantasy pie-in-the-sky take. Um, and so, you know, starting from the front, it's the same bumper that you were just in on those trucks um, with the addition of the brush guard and the winch kit. Um, no suspension modifications. So this is the exact same suspension that you guys just drove. Um, difference being we did a bunch of fender trimming and we added the flare. So this is a extra large flare to accommodate the 40 inch tires. Um, this particular truck uh, will be debuted at SEMA and um, with our partners with uh, BFG. And so if they're not on it right now, but at SEMA, we'll actually have a brand new BFG 40 inch tire, uh, load range F made just for these trucks. Um, and so uh, that'll be exciting. Um, these are not on it currently, but we'll switch them out later. Uh, along with an all new AEV wheel. Uh, so if you look at the brush guard, a lot of cool integration with the AEV lights, uh, camera. So you guys got to use the camera today. You saw how well it works. Uh, washer, everything is fit into the brush guard. Uh, push bar, uh, this is all real. I mean, it's, it's heavy duty. It's all tied back into the bumper. It's, it's the real deal. Uh, on this side, we've got a snorkel, uh, all fully functional. Um, that'll be available. And then in the back, we did a tray bed. There's a lot of like little cool stuff in the back that we can walk through. Um, there's some switches for your rear lights and your air compressor. Um, again, when you get to the back, there's a 9,500 pound winch. There's some steps. Um, definitely take a look at these tow hooks. These are the cast tow hooks that are in the bumper that you guys just drove. But it's kind of a a tip of the iceberg thing. So you only see a small portion of it in the trucks you just drove. Here you can see the entire casting. Um, this is a modular iron casting. So a lot of little cool stuff, little L-track tie down steps, um, you know, more steps and uh, just an overall really nice integration of the tray bed concept into the GMC lineup. So any questions you have, I'll be around, but please feel free to uh, take pictures. Uh, okay, I heard from Dave, so let's look at this footage I shot. You can see the winch in the back, which is kind of a cool idea, winched up towards you. We have a recovery point here that's bolted on to the steel bumper. Uh, that's a pretty good recovery point there. We have this AT4X on this bed. Now, this bed is not a dump bed. I was like, I thought it'd be cooler if it was, but it's not a dump bed. The big tires and we'll come around the sides. I was kind of... My, you can see my camera go high. Somebody stepped in front of me. Uh, AEV there as well. And it's a really kind of cool looking uh, vehicle here. Uh, you can see the diesel and inserts plus some controls for compressor and different lighting and things. Um, and look at that undercarriage. I mean, it just looks pretty cool overall. Really well done. I wish GMC would build vehicles like this. They just don't. The demand just isn't there. But it's a cool idea of what you could do with a truck like this and make it your own. And again, on the front, we can see the heavy-duty kind of stamped in there, too. I like, the, I like the little styling things they did with the truck. Plus, I like Dave Harrington's additions with his bumper and the lights and the recovery points, winch in the front, winch in the rear. I mean, good luck getting stuck. Or good luck not finding a way to get somebody else unstuck as well. And we come around the sides. And there you go. There is the finished look. 
there you go. There are the details in the GMC Sierra Grande. It'll be at the SEMA show that starts next week. I'll be there. If you have any more questions or pictures or comments you want to see from that truck, put your comments down below. I'll be looking for those. As always, make sure you check out the website, pickuptrucktalk.com. Other videos over here. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.